Hello, welcome to Homesteading Northwest Florida. It is Monday, June 24th at about 10 o'clock. And it's cooler in the mornings. But what temperature is it now? It's 10 o'clock and it is 93 degrees. Well, that's what it is. And the plants, the, well, the apple trees and nectarine I'm trying to save here got a little bit of water not really happy with my tomatoes I think I really need to thin stuff when it should thin these out peppers are doing okay but kind of in 94 degree temperatures uh, nothing does really well but got some parsley here kind of watered these over here this morning Lettuce is coming along slowly. That's a cool season crop, so not doing great. Move the tomatoes over here. I couldn't stand looking at their pitiful selves. Boy, I admire those farmers for being able to grow stuff. Must be all in a greenhouse where there's no, you know, maybe not even outside stuff. Here we got a tomato plant that is so-so. Got some onions. Here's a volunteer tomato plant. Roses are doing so-so. Kind of even hot, too hot for them. Stuff kind of shuts down when it's uh, 90. It reaches 95 every day. And then the evenings are not really cool either. Well, let's look at what we've really been doing here is the tornado cedar trees. And I managed to get all the branches off of them. And here's my tape measure. So this is really 25 feet at least. Got this one extended all the way out. So it's a 25 foot. I'm also going to use this to cut parts off, off of here. So 25 feet plus 15 feet at least. And then I think I cut like 5 feet off of the end here. Because it was kind of skinny and didn't need it. So 25 plus six, 15 so 25, 15, uh, what is that? 25, 30, 40. I'd say it was 45 or 50 feet tall cedar tree. And then there's another one here. You know, so two, two 45 foot or 50 foot cedar trees these were. You can see both ends at the top here. So that's what this was here, and it's a lot less of a mess. So we're still working on it. We're going to do it, and it's going to happen. These things are going to get out of my way. And we've got lots of stuff, lots of uh, cedar tree pieces to make biochar, lots of piles. And this will be a biochar burn. And I'm all ready to keep on feeding them in there. And I'm going to have to start the barrel at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Spray all around here and start at 4 o'clock in the morning. Because I just have piles of limbs here. That actually, the burning is the best way to get rid of them. Otherwise, you got to chop them up. And they actually never come to pick up limbs anyhow. So you just got to burn it. So it might be kind of an all-day burn, but starting very early. Yep, picked up some garbage in my front when I went to the mailbox this morning. That's this thing. I don't even know what that is. Pretty gross. Some kind of medical bag of I don't know what, but it's going to get burnt. And, ooh, can't wait to start working on these oak trees gonna be some decent firewood I'm 
but yeah, that really, oh, look at that. There's a big branch up at the top of that oak tree. That's where it got topped off. So yeah, I thought I was blessed though. Not much other damage except for trees down. Wow, that's a big branch hanging there. Giving a lot of shade though, so that's good. But yeah. Yeah, quite a bit of stuff going on, quite a bit of damage. But all right. Well, we'll get her done eventually, little by little. Thanks for watching.